Yo, Chaos Seagrave here, and this is the bike I'll be using for Dark Fest, uh, Canyon Torque. Suspension is Fox, Fox suspension, and then DT Swiss wheels with Schwalbe tyres, and uh, then kitted out with some Shimano parts and rental bars. Two 27.5 wheels on this time. Normally I run a mallet for like the World Cup races and stuff. Yeah, just so much stiffer than on like a normal bike because the jumps are like so steep and big. So you don't want like the bike to compress. So yeah, stiffer forks and shock and then yeah, mainly just like, ah, oh, and tire pressure is like way harder. Uh, this week we've gone for like 50 PSI in them just so that there's like, there's no like on the bottom of the lips or anything. To be honest, I just go to the max on both fork and shock. So like, yeah, just as much as you can pump it up just so then yeah, just pump up the max and hope it's good. <laughs> Canyon have gone for the torque now as the free ride bike, and um, it's just a lot lighter and like a bit better for like jumping and stuff than the other frame because the sender is like so, um, as, like it's just so planted, so like it's just so good for going fast. And this one's just a bit better to have some fun on. Hey, I'm Casey, and this is my session park. I've had it with me for a long time, probably since almost a year ago. It's been an amazing bike for a lot of these kinds of events. It's got an alloy rear end, which makes it a bit shorter. I'm running my bars at 760. Uh, I cut them down um, because I have narrower arms than most people. Um, tidal seat, carbon tidal seat posts, all the little bits from them, and I have some Oh my god, I'm terrible at this. <laughs> 180 PSI in my Boxer Ultimates, which is quite a lot. I've never really run my bike this stiff before, but the jumps are insanely big, so I'm kind of going into new territory here. A 500 weight spring for my Super Deluxe coil. A pretty stiff setup. It's basically like a really big slope style bike right now. Sweet new Tidal pedals. I'm just used to running tubeless, so I've kept my setup the same because tubes obviously feel a little bit different when you're riding them. If anything blows off, I'll probably stick a tube in there, but for now, tubeless is, is the way to go for me. I've got my SRAM codes and EXO drivetrain. Great bike, got me through the 90 footer today, so hyped. What's up, Shimon Gojek here, Darkfest 2022, and this is my bike check. This is my NS Bikes FAS. Custom paint job, NS Bikes frame, NS Bikes handlebar, and NS Bikes pedals. Regarding the wheels, what's new to me is Industry 9, since this season, super stocked on it. The wheels are carbon rims, Tubolito tubes in it, Continental Kaiser in the front, 26, whatever tire in the back, whatever I had at home. New Hope brakes, Hope cranks, what I love a lot, double rotors and reverse components to finish it. Last year on the rampage I realized that my, my bike is pretty big, probably one of the biggest ones there and I wanted to work on it and make it shorter. All in suspension, in the front, 200 millimeters travel with 240 psi in the ramp up chamber, the token chamber, and 160 psi in the main chamber. In the back, all-ins, the spring is the heaviest one, 525. This is exactly the same bike I'm gonna ride at Rampage. As stiff as possible, as small as possible. Hey, I'm Vera Sandler, and this is my 2022 Santa Cruz V10CC. 27.5, and it's a small. I honestly have never thought about any concerns with the carbon frame. All the carbon bikes I've ridden have been amazing, super stiff, and just ride really, really well, so. For my cockpit, I'm running a Tidal bar and stem, and my bars are 740 mil wide. Um, I've got some WTB grips and some SRAM RSC brakes. It's a RockShox Boxer Ultimate. At home, I run my fork a lot softer and faster, um, but I thought, because I'm hitting big jumps here, I don't want my bike to get bucked in the air, and I want it to be really stiff for carrying good speed, so I've set it up stiffer and slower. The wheels I'm running are Santa Cruz Reserve DH rims on Chris King hubs. Um, and I've got tubes in there because sometimes I get flat tires and I just pop a tube back in. Hi everyone, Sam Reynolds here at Darkfest and this is my special Darkfest custom NS Bikes Fuzz downhill bike. 
So as you can see, it's British racing green with a little yellow bit at the front and a stripe on the top. It's actually based on a Lotus 49 old Formula One car. Um, if you check that out or if you know what that is, it kind of looks like that, which I thought was, was quite cool. And I really like the colors. So I have a 40 mil direct spank stem on there with some Vibracore spank bars. They come at 800 and I cut a centimeter off each side. So I guess that means they're 780 width. You need them nice and wide for some control especially at the, uh, the high speeds we're doing up there, is always good. So the main changes I make about my bike from turning it from a downhill bike into a kind of big, big jumps bike. Um, first of all, the tire pressures, I guess. Um, we go about 40 PSI to ride these jumps and the suspension also has to be super hard. I've got a 700 pound spring in the back and the front forks are pumped up pretty hard as well. Mainly actually, not even for the landings, this is for the takeoffs and the compressions um, that you wouldn't normally find on a downhill course. Here on the big jumps, you compress super hard, so that's why your tires and forks and shock need to be super hard so it doesn't affect you coming off the lip. Because if your tires folded under the compression, obviously you wouldn't be stable in the air. So that's why we uh, yeah, run quite crazy pressures and hard suspension. And of course, if you land flat or deep, then you need it to be pretty hard as well. My wheel set is a spank Vibracore set. We've actually got a 350 on the front and a 359 on the back. So actually the back wheel is a little bit stronger um, just because sort of nine times out of ten if you break your wheel it's normally the back one so we can save a bit of weight on the front one. Tyres, I've got the Kender Hell Diver on the back. It's kind of a, a semi-slick um, which helps on these ramps with two things. Again, kind of with the tire pressure, it, with those smaller nobbles you've got a bit less flex when you compress on the takeoff so it's just a bit more predictable through the air. And then on the front, we've got the kind of race tire, the pinner, um, 2.4, I think, front and rear, um, just because some of the landings are a bit dusty. So a bit of grip on the front is good as well. This is actually a 27.5 bike. A few guys here, I think, are running 29, only maybe one or two, but 27 wheels are just a bit smaller and more agile in the air. And um, you can speed tuck better. Just a couple nice sort of bronze parts to kind of finish off the old school feel with the grips and the spank pedals. Um, single speed on this bike because you don't do much pedaling. So it's just sort of like we're all the way down here in South Africa and gears can break pretty easy, can't they? So a nice single speed setup is all we need and um, yeah, nice and reliable. We're not really looking for the lightest bike ever here because um, we're kind of flying miles through the air. So lightness doesn't really help you in any way because you get blown by the wind. So I've actually got super thick, heavy downhill tires in the front and rear to help because when they're spinning up, you can actually lean into whips way more, which is super fun because it kind of pulls you straight again and it helps with the wind and just gives you a bit more control in the air. Uh, it is an aluminium frame. I think it's a medium. I wouldn't really want to ride carbon on stuff like this. I think there's not actually a single carbon bit on here. It's a bit scary carbon's a bit more snappy isn't it and uh, the last thing you want on jumps like this is to doubt your bike in any way uh, which I don't which is great oh yeah one more thing this um, seat is my signature spank seat it's called the sniff um, it's actually named here because if you do a big superman your nose kind of goes there that's where that came from so yeah that's called the sniff saddle <laughs>